So, a lot has happened in the gaming industry. And of course, I didn't upload this. I don't know why. I just didn't. Also, uh, as you can tell, I'm wearing a mic. Uh, hope the mic audio is good. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is a new headset I got. It's a Turtle Beach headset. Uh, anyways, let's get on with the video. So for those who don't know, Xbox has bought Activision and Blizzard. Now, for those who don't know, the the rights that Activision holds. I actually have the article pulled up right here, so I'm just going to read it to you. Call of Duty. Okay, the last Call of Duty I played was uh, Cold War. I didn't really like it. But let's go to the next one. Warcraft. I never played Warcraft. Uh, my brothers, they liked World of Warcraft. I used to watch them play when I was little, but I never got into it. I like the I like the cinematic trailers that they had. I think there was one with Ozzy Osbourne. I'll have to look that up later. But uh, yeah, there's Warcraft and uh, Candy Crush. Next one, Tony Hawk. Uh, the Tony Hawk games seem pretty fun. Uh, I might I might play them if they're on sale. I'll give them a go. Diablo, not my thing. Overwatch, yeah, not my thing either. Spyro, I did play Skylanders one time, and Spyro was in the first one. I don't know if he's in the other ones, but I thought it was cool how you could have like your own figures and then put them in the game. That was that was a cool concept at the time, but I don't think no one's really doing that anymore. Except I think Disney tried to do it at one point, and I think it was pretty successful. But uh, yeah, there's Spyro, and I think yeah, Crash Bandicoot is also on this list too. Those are two PlayStation characters at first, and now they're an Xbox. That's crazy. Let's see, what else we got here? Hearthstone, never heard of it. Oh, Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero was my crap going on, like, back then. It was Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Uh, Beatles Rock Band, specifically. Everyone, if you knew me in, like, fourth grade or, like, basically elementary school, uh, yeah, I was way too obsessed with the Beatles. Uh, I still listen to the music from time to time, but not, like, religiously anymore. Um... Yeah, alright, let's see. Uh, StarCraft. Never heard of StarCraft, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Basically, they're a part of Team Xbox now. Now, a lot of people are freaking out, essentially. Mostly Sony. Like, the Sony fanboys. A lot of them are suggesting that they're going to be exclusive now. It's possible. I mean, Microsoft now has the right to do that. And... Who knows what's going to happen? I'm, I'll probably be fine with it. I'm, I could live without a Call of Duty for once. I, I don't know. Hopefully, they can actually make quality in a Call of Duty with Microsoft involved and break the annual kind of thing with Call of Duty. I think that's what a lot of people are suggesting is going to happen. I think the only exclusive outcome for that is like DLC, like maps, new maps and zombies. Because that's how it was with Xbox back, I think it was the 360 because... I think in Black Ops 2, like, Xbox players got, like, maps and zombies, like, a month early until Sony did. And then once the PS4 came around, it was Sony's turn for that. So it's probably going to change with that, most likely. Because they would lose a bunch of money if that was the case. If they wanted to make them exclusive. But, I don't know. And I think also another outcome for Xbox to buy... Activision is the news going on, like the dark news, everyone knows. I, I don't really want to get into it because some people find that stuff offensive and out of respect for them, I'm not going to mention it, but you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, pretty much. Uh, the CEO, let's see, I'm for some reason I'm forgetting his name. I think his name's Bobby. Bobby Kotick, the scumbag CEO of Activision and Blizzard. Uh, it seems like he would leave right when Microsoft takes control, and then all of Activision's developers will report to Phil Spencer, who's the CEO of Xbox. And good riddance for Bobby Kotick. He's allowed multiple things to happen in Activision, which made it a toxic workplace. Just a living hell, essentially, with Activision. And it's not... He's he's going to get like $200 million once he leaves, like a bonus, and 
hopefully he'll be out of the industry at that point. And hopefully Activision will be a more healthy environment with Xbox taking control. So, yeah, let's hope that happens. All right, so thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you notice my hoodie here, it's a two-glasses hoodie. Yeah, you can get merch now. It's in the link in the description. It's on Redbubble. It's completely optional. You don't have to buy merch if you don't want to. I'm not, I'm not going to break into your house if you don't buy any merch, but it's there for you if you want it. And also, I have a live stream channel now. It's called DC Streams. It's down in the link in the description if you want to go for it. I'll probably stream tonight. Uh, I'll have an official schedule, like streams. I'll have an official stream schedule once everything goes around, once I figure out my schedule pretty much. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the stream channel, it's totally up to you. Go for it. It's going to be fun. All right. See you guys.